and welcome everybody to game two between london conspiracy and hey hey united this is the mount herman charity tournament for save the children they are a charity organization that help out children all around the world and we're doing this especially for refugee children and uh, having that said please uh, make sure to go to the website in the panel underneath there save the children.org or go and uh, donate there or go to our own stream tip we'll show your donation up on the screen as well as uh Go, yeah, giving 25% to the winning team and 75% to the, uh, well, save the children <laughs> charity in the end. With all that said, game one was a bit of a fast one here. Terry and I were like, well, if we're not going to win in five minutes, uh, we're going to probably lose in five minutes. And with that in mind, uh, GG'd out of the 15. At least this yeah, is what, this is inside information as AWA <laughs> told me that after the game. So, yeah. Morality is uh, is with me again for the second game here. LC won the first one, as I said. I mean, what do you think about uh, everything so far? Uh, did you re did he really tell you he he would GG out if he didn't win the game after five minutes? Well, he was like, well, we're either gonna like pretty much win this game in five minutes, or we're gonna lose in five minutes. Wow. Okay. Fine. So he was I like in his mind, like we're either gonna crush him so hard that we can just easily snowball from there. Or like we're gonna be crushed so hard by them and we're gonna be fucked. <laughs> okay, okay, fine. I'm, I'm not gonna question his decision making. That's his decision, but I still think it's it's just these short games are just they, they just feel so incomplete. Yeah, it's very, yeah, they just really did. Anyway, let's have a look at these picks and bans then, shall we? Yeah, let's do it. Lonely Conspiracy. So far, opening up with two new picks here, Undying and Queen of Pain. I haven't seen Undying yet in this mm. tournament. I've seen some couple of Queen of Pains. Pretty normal, I would say, on both sides. Hey, United answer back straight up with the Gyrocopter. Against Undying. Flag Cannon, pretty much the only real counter at the moment against the, uh, the zombies running around. Yeah, because Bristleback, remember. <laughs> no longer viable. Uh, Dark Sin Gyrocopter is also a, an old age combo. Vacuum into cooldown, vacuum into flat cannon. It's not really a nice combo, nice combo at the moment. <laughs> it's picked up like every time you can. No, it's like, I mean, that's why I said it's just, you know, everyone knows what it is. Everyone knows how to play it. At least everyone should know how to play it. Because it's just a simple combo that you can do really easily. That's true, as well as just uh, having the surge together with the rock barrage is so annoying. You're like, oh, yes, yeah. I'm getting some distance. No 5 to 2 movement speed, straight up your ass. And you're done. Suddenly just, suddenly you're dead. You know, it's, it's all good, it's all good. But what, what do you think about the Zeus bans? I'm, 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 I've been wondering about this for just a long time. It's like, why would you ban a Zeus? Well, there are several reasons to ban out the Zeus. One of them oh, well. could be that you're opting to go for maybe a Brood Mother or any kind of invisibility hero, essentially. Most likely the Brood Mother or the Bounty Hunter are mostly affected by him. Because they're just so strong against him. Same time, yes. uh, I think it's one of the comfort picks for uh, maybe HWA or Garcia. Ten seconds remaining. So they don't really want to give the one away. It's also just a global hero, and Five hey, United tend to remaining. run something with a global strat. I mean, it's a good point, but still, Zeus is just so out of meta at the moment. Well, I, I see him sometimes, like, so. I saw him yesterday. Very infrequently. Very infrequently. Yeah, Very that's true. Like, you don't see him too often, but still, he has his uses in games. Venom and they just don't want to play against him, so they might have something specifically in mind, or they just want to take out global heroes, because they also took out the Spirit Break here. Now, this is interesting. And then they pick up actually Nightstalker. Sorry, I want to continue on them picking up oh, Nightstalker sure, sure. on LC. It's, that's a counter pick, or a block pick for you. <laughs> like, they want to make sure that they can't run Dark, uh, dark Shippers Nightstalker combination, as they are really oh, yeah. comfortable with that. Uh, yes, that's... The Aghanim's vision is... Also, I'm, it's I'm about the lane. It's, it's about the lane. It's really about the lane. Oh, okay. Okay. Darkseer, uh, Nightstalker combination in lane oh, start. Oh, that, that, that's it. Yeah, yeah, of course. It has nothing to do with the Aghanims. Like, later on in the game, of course, Aghanims. Like, but really, no, that's I just think, lane space. I think we just always need to talk about the Aghanims when it comes around. It really is something. Something it's, just so good. It's just so good. It's so fucking annoying to play against, though. I know. That's, you're, but, you're, you're like wondering where the fuck your fishing is going. As a support, you're really just questioning your existence. And especially, why the hell you're still buying fucking wards? Like, stop buying wards, you know? It's not gonna help. Yeah. That said, hey, United, they pick up the Phenomens to kind of block out the darkness. If you just drop down wards every there, like in this case, plague wards, you know, you, you stop the vision a bit, like you gain some vision for yourself. So. 
more wards? Nah, not as a Venomancer. Yeah, as well as this, you you can just slow him down a bit with the gill. That is good. But yeah, they pick up the Ember Spirit. Yeah. I'm kind of wondering if they're going to go and how you're not going to go back for Beastmaster, but they pick up the Bucks. So we're going again for a bit of a team fight here. It's not going to be global this time, but really, it's, it's this all team fight kind of strat here. Just Interesting. vacuum into Calldown and <laughs> Potion Nova <laughs> and just everything for Puck is like, what the fuck is going on here? It's like if we ever come into a situation like that, let's just let's just warn them straight off. We're probably not going to get everything said. Yeah. Like they're just, I didn't know they're just all throwing it on these big cooldowns. So that means that they're very susceptible to just single target, just getting picked Radiant off all the time. Because, I mean... The combo Depends on how you move. If you move as a yeah. five, you don't get picked off. Of course, but that requires you moving as a five. Well, you can do that. Just say, guys, hey, move as five. Of course, we'll see. We'll see how it plays out. We'll see how it plays out. Ten seconds. And of course, remaining. moving as five is a viable strategy. But London conspiracy still have an ember spirit. Five seconds remaining. And a quid of pain and an undying. Dire team pick. Which all punish five man lineups, in a way. Yeah, you don't really want to push into an Undying in the beginning, but at the same time, Hell United's their lineup is not really made for pushing. There's more about fighting, and Undying has been nerfed a bit in the sense for the uh, for the Totem, as you can get it down pretty easily. Like, the early game Totem is worth less, but late game Totem is worth kind of like more. Winter because you don't, you can bong you know, just one or two click it now anymore. You have to click it seven times, which is annoying. Wondering about the Meepo ban. Because uh, they really didn't have, London Conspiracy didn't have any real like support that they could you could put the war carry on maybe nice talk of course but uh the rest of them do require a bit of farm so i'm wondering about the miko o ban and maybe just one uh, just scared about all the magical damage that's coming out from it in the beginning as well as just having a constant split push where they don't want to deal with that i don't really know if lc actually have one big meepo player i don't but, think so no i can't really recall straight off my head either so that's that's maybe a bit troublesome more but yeah, the disruptor as well to finish off that huge cooldown combos you've got going on here, and the winter wyvern is there to make sure to try and make sure that they can control that a bit. Yeah, indeed. Like Darkseer, honestly, he, do he doesn't even need to use his fucking wall. Like that's not the that's not his ability that's important. It's all about the vacuum for him. Just like, he needs to get the vacuum straight. The puck needs to hit this coil, and then the disruptor comes in to just keep them all in one place. That's that's how it's probably gonna work. Yeah, but like, the, like the most beautiful thing well. of all of this is that they don't need to actually hit the wall or the vacuum on like five people. If they just hit it on two or three, they can just focus all the other things on everybody yes. else. You can Amazing. just prompt them all, all around and you will hit people. Like, I, I think I, we're going to see Gesha play like this suicide phenomancer. And you know what the thing is, is also uh, is also a good thing to note, is that... Um, crap, I just did... I just completely dislodged my own train of thought. Damn it. Oh yeah, now, now I remember. The cooldowns are most of the... Uh, <laughs> Sorry, the, that's funny. The cooldown, the cooldowns on most the uh, just big team fight abilities aren't actually that large. Like if you consider that you can, Dream like, Force pretty Dream large, Pop. Nova's pretty large. I mean, Static Storm is, is pretty large. It's large, but it's um, not as large as you know, like something like Wall or something. I mean, Poison Nova, of course, is large, but uh, something like Cooldown is only sixty seconds. Not much. It's forty-five at level three. Disruptor Kinetic Field is nothing really. The vacuum, nice. it's only 28 seconds, so all these cooldowns are going to be off cooldown pretty quickly, if you think about it. I'm going to say, I think we're going to see uh, HWA drop a new mixtape fairly soon. It's going to ah. be called Skittles. Of course. I hope it will be fire. Uh, I think Kefka is going to bring out his own uh, his own album called T-Lover 47, or was it? Oh, 27. So, guys, we have something to look forward to in the future. <laughs> Watch out for people burning their houses down, thanks to that huge <laughs> mixtape. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, let's see if we're gonna get, maybe get in a bit of an engagement here. Did they really want to give up this rune here to her? They don't really seem to be in, in place to contest this, so they all need to back up. Same time, Rocket Barrage is coming out on bottom, and uh, seems like Kimra has not been able to get it though, as Kefa yeah, just stole the rune straight underneath him. And did an equal amount of damage as well. <laughs> yeah. I go get barrage, level 1 nerf, too, too hard, too real. Harsh on the gyro, but you know what, you have to consider that it was probably one of the best level 1 abilities in game. Uh, if you go by damage. Yeah, damage wise, definitely. 
That said, ladies and gentlemen, this is the Mount Hermon Charity Tournament. This is game two between Hey United as well as London Conspiracy. It's for the charity called Save the Children. They help all children all around the world, and we're doing it especially for the refugee children. Make sure to donate. You can go to our stream tip, streamtip.com slash t slash swissdc underscore en. Or go to the panel, says we're going to see Disruptor try training up a bit here with Kefka. Good old, good old. Meanwhile, 302 health on the puck. <laughs> yeah, he just got uh, a lot of his strength stolen here. Next time, go for the uh, the Bracer, not the Notali, I guess. But still, it will be drops on. Oh, he actually Whoa, went aggressive here on Baby Knight. He's getting a lot of damage. The Undy's coming back, so... I mean, really, it's sort of a mixed... Oh, wow, oh dear. Here we go, Baby Knight going right in on this. <laughs> yeah, putting oh, out the damage here, but... Uh, there's gonna be the stick, or no. It's just gonna be the ball, never mind. Beaver doesn't really have anything more to do here now. That steering chains are, of course, on cooldown. Really, at this point, I think Puck can control the lane really easily. If once Baby Knight reaches six, he'll be able to take some of that control back. But we missed something. Yeah, it is going to be the Venomancer dead on top. They rotated in uh, the Undying, and they just start slamming him down all the time. Nice for Jellipy. It's going to give him a better start. Usually for Queen of Pains in the save lane, we're going to see the Orchid into. Either sometimes it's going to be the X, sometimes it's going to be the BKB, then into AC, and then whatever items you need left. That tends to be the most common build up. Sometimes next item is going to be in a, an Octarine core. So, you never uh, know. You always been on Octa. Um, yeah, just make sure Gaston Monster stays on low health, so whenever you see an opportunity, take it. You know. <coughs> Sorry. And since he doesn't have such a. <laughs> I mean, look at Gash, he has 492 health to begin with. Just stealing away all that strength is going to make sure he's going to die every time. Yeah, just one hit already takes out an extra... Yeah. What is it? About just like 60 to 70 damage or something. Uh, HP, so... And that's not even on top of the normal damage it already puts in here. Just look at it, it's already down to 416. Oh. There's nothing to, for him to do there. Oh, dude, that's like... Level 1. That's the thing. Meanwhile, Kefka's level 4, having a happy old time down in the off lane. Plus is like a level 2 gyro, now about to reach level 3. So he's, he's doing well, he's doing fine. Actually level 4 here on Kefka, that's pretty big. This means I mean, that the first night time, he's, he's gonna be level 4. And that's really just this, the point that you want to hit on the on the Night Stalker. This is, they're gonna be able to make so much space with this. He hasn't skilled up anything yet, he's most likely gonna go for a kill here on, uh, Ooh, on the Baby wow. Knight. Wow, wow, I just... I wasn't expecting him, I saw him diving, but I wasn't expecting he was gonna get a kill on over that one. But okay. That was pretty deep. Oh dear, Kefka chasing that extra monster and Camera has to come in with the rocket barrage to assist. To deter him from really up, he has. He's going pretty aggressive build here. Has an orb, has a boost plus blade, so. He's gonna probably get another blade of attack as well. I don't think he's, yeah, he's not gonna get it before the 4 minutes, so. Most likely buy a TP now and. Or maybe go back to base and TP smoke somewhere. Or just well, randomly just walk. Go get the room. One point in uh, in Hunter. How many more is he gonna put in there? For that lovely old speed. Yeah, they they saw him walking up in the, for this little trap there, so that's not gonna work. Picks up the rune. And what's he gonna go for? Oh dear. Looks in a bit of trouble. Yeah, fighting up against the DD on the Winter Warfarm, but <laughs> he's still that fighting it. Down. Absolutely no base uh, base damage here on the Solon. And we just one armor against the three. It seems the puck is more than okay. His base damage is basically. Equal the pucks. It's like 10, 20 uh, above, What the fuck, dude? <laughs> uh, it was not the player. Uh, Kevka was low HP, but he had another forward, and he just ran into him thinking that he could kill him, but he got just straight up forwarded, and then he just needed a right click to put on him, and he did, and <laughs> got the kill. Uh, the thing tough. is, he used, the, he used the soul ring as well, so... <laughs> yeah, he that basically be... killed himself. Kind of did. He could have just let him go there and be like, okay, you know, I forced him back to the base, so that means that they... We're gonna have like 30 to 40 seconds of night time that's gonna be lost by Kafka. And with the kill, he's gonna be able to buy war, uh, buy TP, get a smoke as well as get a face boots. Uh, so they rotate the undying down to the off lane to see if he can get some new levels. 
standard play really and now look Kepka's down onto mid lane and Same time they're gonna go well. aggressive here on Baby Knight but they seem to be ready for this on the side of LC Baby Knight's taking a lot of damage they don't have a, they didn't use Golden Brazen him they just are more focused on turning this one around he is just trying to run away he's trying to juke and jive here but there's more than enough damage coming out from LC they turned into a double kill for Kepka who can just run straight back to base right now and just give us some solo farm here and experience to solo yeah, you got 500 gold from that and a 410 XP. That is good. That first night to double kill. You cannot argue with that. In fact, yeah. that's amazing. You also got news before that as well, so. No, it's basically a triple kill on first yeah. night. They're gonna get some more more kills in during this night. And Garcia seems to be uh, <laughs> gonna losing all of his HP, but a nice play there with the play quartz, denying himself by point one. Heads of play coming out from him. So HGWA just really can't fight against his baby knight now anymore. Taking too much damage from there. Oh, horrible, horrible situation for Hehe right now. Yeah, and during night time they just have to be so scared because Kevka can pretty much do whatever he wants at the moment. He's already got free to zero Oh, they're gonna glimpse back on their dying, but this just might be what I want. They put down the totem, gets off a one DK. We'll keep him alive a bit longer and forcing them to stay underneath the tower there for a bit longer, and that will. Well, just turn into another two kills here for the side of, uh, of LCS. They're just completely ready for this rotation in. Okay, for Owen, one first night, a night stalk. Uh, at this point, the night stalk has to say, Yay! "Keep going, just keep going. Let's just make the snowball just even crazier." As they're gonna yeah. go after AWA, he's gonna be chained up and killed. And now Nia, he puts down the wall. He's just trying to juke and jive in between it, but um, having no vacuum as well is just a level one wall. It's not going to kill off anybody. This is horrible. This is Hehe falling apart once again. They need the team fight to happen, but they can't when half of their people aren't even level six yet. Yeah, like, hey, hey, they need to wait a bit more. They need to go for their timings and fight. Just if you lose someone right now during night time, just let him go. Like, it's, it's, it's just not the timing. They need at least level six on everybody. Prefer to be level 11 on their course. And then they can go do something. They need to wait for LC to go and push into your towers and then take a fight over there. Or maybe see if they go for Roshan and then get a kill there. Or a good team fight. Though I don't think LC will go to Roshan anytime soon. Uh, they have a pretty terrible lineup to do that. Same goes for Hehe though. Like, no, none of them really have any anti armor people. They don't really have any people that can slow Rashan down. Well, maybe the Winter White. But... That said, Nias is going in aggressive here again. But now there will be coming to some back cut up here from Gesha Monster, but it's not going to be on time. And now Gesha Monster, because he tried to help out his teammate here, he might just die as well as they go aggressively forward. They need to find a way to deny him, but they can't, as there's no poison used on him. They're going to pick up another two kills here for LC. And then free. This is uh, not even 10 minutes into the game. Yeah, they into another game. This is this is turning into another one of those games. Yeah, it seems hey, just, just oh, need to, no, no, to no, get no, everything back go. together. Skimra has been able to drop the call down here, but he's not able to get in enough damage for now. But he's gonna survive. No, he's not. As the tombstone was there with the zombies following him down. TP got cancelled as well, as they dropped down the dream TP. call on. Uh... Oh, did, what did you? I've, did I change him up? <laughs> I don't know. Whatever stopped it. I think I was maybe looking for a kill on the zone. Not gonna Oof. find a run. I think maybe that TP would have changed the outcome of the gyro. No, uh, maybe that, it no, have. it wouldn't, wouldn't. He, well, he was dead anyway. They don't have maybe, a desert or something to save him. Maybe, you know, just to maybe get Kafka and return, but who was TPing in is the question. The puck was, right? Uh, it was either puck or it was uh, extra music. I believe it was puck, so. Puck no, it was extra got... music. He has a. Okay. He had, he had 20 seconds right, cooldown on this TP. So fine, puck extra has no music. cooldown. They could have yeah, maybe locked someone underneath the tower or something and then get a kill, but he's not enough yeah. to get a kill. That said, Gesha Monster is going to be dead here, as Zillopi is more enough to get a kill on him. Who if I recall on the correctly, way? extra music had like 10 health when he was taking at that point. Yeah, that's why he probably can't sit, like he got jumped. Maybe not going aggressive underneath the tower, he needs to reset the aggro though. Uh, he's done, he does, okay finally, no he still hasn't done it, but he might just die here now. Colin Brace is going to keep him alive for now, but there comes out the Rocket Barrage. Yeah, Solon uh, ah. is not going to be able to save him there. He tried to, to do it with the Golden Brace. He will, they will be able to get at least two kills back now. So finally, a good trade up ahead. This is going to give them back some momentum. Look at that worth. It's 3k down for... What, what the? Interesting. <laughs> uh, <laughs> extra music is going to die here. No, he's blocked the Baby Knight. Oh, he just got away with the Slimmer of HP. And now they're going to go after him. He doesn't have a Remnant out. He will put one down now, so... 
But it's really, really <laughs> on a short place from where he is right now. Oh, well, yeah, they were just baiting it. Jellipy is now coming in, trying to get some damage going, but he doesn't really have enough mana to do anything. Went in here, and now they're gonna oh. get the spin. The best out is the kill of Nihis here. Now Garcia is trying to fight up against uh, Jellipy. Will win this fight as Jellipy now has to get out. Sketchy Monster still gonna look for him, but Jellipy, he regen more than enough from the Golden Rays over there. He wants to go in aggressive again. Pops his stick as well. Another call down comes out as well. Gefka is not gonna get out as the call down was enough to kill him off there. Jellipy gets a kill. But they come in now with Baby Knight as well, and the same time they're able to TP him out. Jellipy is gonna stay alive now, running down on HWA. Is he gonna be able to deny himself? No, he's not as a slide of his does come out to kill him off. That was one heck of a fight. Have to give, you have to give credit to her. Hey, they fought that one well. But the end, in the end, there wasn't enough, really. It, it just wasn't enough to just make it really a one fight. It, too many deaths. Indeed, and they'll see they're just, you know, they're kind of like fine at the moment. They just need to make sure that they don't get caught out in too many bad fights. Oh, if you can fight Gyrocopter, that would be big. But he has absolutely no vision of him. He does have you know, extra music and he just oh, go for him yeah. straight away. He's glimpsing back one. But it doesn't matter as Jellopy has been able to get him there. But he will he just pay with his life. They're gonna get a mega kill streak here. 900 gold going the way of the Disruptor. That's not what you wanted on. You want to get it on HWA to get him that faster blink there. But still. It's they, something. They get the kill. It's, it's even in the favor of, of Hey, uh, At least in gold. They just lose like 100 more experience to LC. But it's not a big, big amount. The small, it's these small victories, however. It's delaying the Queen of Pain from getting her Orchid a bit more. So, you know, it's... it's uh, Any way you see it, it's okay. Yeah. Uh, they can need that. Same time, LC, they smoked up there. I'm wondering if someone's gonna defend the tier 1 here on bottom, but uh, it seems like they're not, so... They're just gonna rotate towards middle, where they see three heroes from the side of her. Oh, Nias! Yeah, got their ults. Nias is gonna run into ults. them. They don't have to pop any ultimates to kill him, though. <laughs> As he just runs straight into them <laughs> with his surge up. <laughs> Same time, Queen of Pain in the backline just kills off Puck. Pretty casually, you know. It's just a Puck. Now they're gonna dive more. They put down the totem. Gesha has been able to get up the kill. If that's gonna be enough. Curse comes out on extra music. They guys are able to not kill. Yeah, they're able to get him off in time before getting off the Static Storm. Same time, Baby Knight has been able to kill off Gesha. Four people Christmas down for him. Early. Christmas come early to LC here. Yeah, they just pick up an easy four kills here. As uh, same time, Kev is going aggressive here on Kimra. Rotation is coming from Jellopy as well. He's going to put on the call. He's going to try and fight up against that, but he's taking too much damage here. Kev uh, is not going to be a any kind of sacrificial lamp for him. So just pick up five kills in the end here, all around the map. Yeah, that was uh, five thousand. That was a two thousand five hundred. What? HWA? Yeah. Okay, he's going to get what's TP. Not going to TP into three people there. I immediately regret my decision, I guess. <laughs> yeah, that's 75 gold wasted. 322 being set by chat. I don't think that's what's happening here. At least I hope it's what's not happening. No, I, I always want to win. Yeah. Radiance top tower is under their team, like the teamfight oriented draft has a, a lot of potential if they can get everything off. They can still easily win a teamfight with it. They just need to find a way to get every, to get everything off. Thanks, yeah, they really need vacuum. Like they need more levels in that. Like Nies is going to be the cornerstone of their team fights, and they need him to, to get the levels Dyer's ASAP. Is under I don't care how, but they need Radiant's to find a way. Well, at least he's, they're putting him into the jungle, at least they've got something going. He's already got level 2 vacuum, but he needs that level 4. Yeah, like level he's 3 is hard. like minimum. Like, if you can get level 3, you already have like some Dyer's decent aura on it. Has like level 2 is but, still really weak. Oh, but look at this, Jellope, he's gonna walk right into Jellope here. Yeah, oh, yeah, with the surge, he's just gonna, just gonna get orgited up here. Taking a lot of damage and they should be able to kill him off. Sixstorm does come out here pretty nicely. As now the follow-up on Fortune Nova. Nice is still alive. He should die here sometime. There you go. Baby Knight gets the kill. Tonema is finally dropped here by Biver. Goldown comes out as well. It's just not gonna connect. And everybody, anybody has a glimpse back has been used from Biver. Getting him out from there. Now Kimura is trying to fight it up here. But he's not winning this team fight from Kefka here. Curse comes out on three. Oh, they're keeping everybody there. Solo has to go into the Golden Race. Keep some alive. Kefka has to start running away. Urn is gonna be enough to take him down though. 3 for 3 trade here in the end, and Haya uh, should be okay with it. It's actually turning it into a 4 for 3 as the illusions were just a bit too much there. That was a good trade off of Hey, hey they got 1.5k. They got, no, uh, about 2k gold from that one. Yeah, about. Uh, a little bit of experience as well. It's always nice to have. And, but the thing is, they still lost 3 people in exchange for 4. I mean, they're winning some ground back, and that's great, but they didn't kill off the uh, Ember Spirit. Well, at least, you know, when you're behind and you, you get 
even an even amount of kills or get more, then it's it's already in your favor. Thing is, they're not that far behind if you look at it. They're only 5k behind at the moment right now. Yeah, and it goes up pretty heavily. They just need to make sure they don't lose too much map control. Thing is, though, another thing to think about that fight is they won that without too much help from the Darks. I mean, the wall, of course, is really good for area denial, but they didn't have the vacuum and they. Well, Nii needs to tank a lot, and they got about yeah. like four illusions out of the, the wall. They were still bashing on everybody, even after the fight was over. Oh, actually. I feel like also, like. Uh, yeah, yeah, which are awkward. He's just getting pickoffs. I feel he like also, yeah, like LC jumped into that fight a bit, sort of like one v like one in one on one, sort of like you know. Radiance bottom. Um, <laughs> how do I put this? Okay, they're gonna see Nias now trying to creep skip here, and Jellipy is like, okay, we're gonna go and punish that. He's gonna put the organ on top of him with HWA. He was ready for that. He's gonna go for Jellipy. They're trying to get him out. Of this, but they're not able to break it for now. They don't really have enough magical damage for now to kill off Jellope. He's been able to blink out a little bit further, and he's just trying to just go after him, but he's not able to find him. And now Jellope shows himself to just give him this hate hit, and uh, they're gonna give the kill in the end to Kefka. Ball drop down, but still, not enough follow up. Okay, um, he is once again being over aggressive here. Well, that was an okay play, like they were ready to try to set a trap there. But again, they need to I mean, five men. Not, not go for pickups. I mean, this is what I was talking about in the draft. It's like uh, it requires them to five man, and right here they weren't five manning, and it just you know it didn't work. They yeah, were just with two people trying to set up a trap. And I mean, it sort of worked if Queen of Pain had been the only one there. Yeah, then I should have been able to turn around with uh, with it, get maybe two kills or at least the Queen of Pain, and then the other could probably just you know hide beneath the tower. But they'll see you already, and they're always TPing in with everybody. To make sure that they win the fights. That said, Baby's Knight, uh, his item progression for now has not been the best released item choice. Like with the game, uh, it has been going right now. I think the abilities would have been better. But he's opting to go for a little bit more of tanky with damage builds. I think the drum as well as the uh, oh HWA. He's trying to get out, but he just ran in straight after him. He's gonna go down. Baby Knight picking up the kill. That's his perseverance now as well. It's gonna be a pretty fast battle for you though. Should be just short of 22 minutes. minutes yeah. 22 minutes, I think. He's gonna get it. Soon as you farm like 1.4k. If you get some if kills, he... then it's fast. Top tower is under attack. Ooh, be pretty quick. And quick battle furies are always good to have on an Ember Spirit. Indeed. Well done, it's just gonna be used to secure the tower in the end. And, and they're gonna get it, they tried oh. to deny it with the Winter Riven, but uh, that's not gonna happen out. 75 base damage, that's <laughs> quicker, easier said than done. Well, 75 at the moment, yeah. like, that's okay. Fine. You get right. <laughs> it was worth. It was worth an attempt. Indeed, it is. And I mean, Winter's uh, Arctic Burn is back after like 4 seconds. Uh, yeah, it's, it's not the biggest of commitments, like, you can try it. Is Baby Knight really trying to do for this? Go for this? He, he put regeneration, so it's a fair amount of mana, but. <laughs> oh! The chains are on the creeps. That's not gonna work out. That means HWA is just gonna be a okay. So, Baby Knight decides, okay, fine, I'll just. He oh, still I'm goes after. And Jellope is also rotating in. Oh, this is just before HWA has been able to get up his gold. Oh my god, this is gonna be set back even further. He's gonna lose it. He's gonna get another 300 gold before he can get his blink now. At least gonna be another 300 gold further off his blink. Making it like 400. And meanwhile, Baby Knight just takes his farm casually. Oh dear. Just denying. It's denying money to the uh, the hey hey, really. Yeah, they're trying to get extra music here, but this kinetic uh, fielder is pretty nice. Now the curse comes out on the ears. He's going to take a lot of damage and a lot of sunnies on top of him as well. DK comes out, but there comes the poison Nova. That's connected on two here. But Jellopy now comes in trying to get some more kills going their way. They're able to kill <laughs> at least three now. As his T-Fight has gone completely in the favor of LC. Oh, four on four for no. Four for nothing. Yep. Ah, four for ash, zero. Ash. Even though that poison over was pretty nice, you have to give it to them. Yeah, they they tried it's gonna do a lot of damage and oh, HWA is geez. like, okay, we're we're done. They're they were able to stay in the game now for four uh, four minutes longer than previous game. I think there was fifteen minutes. So. LC win this game two to zero and hey, they're looking shaky here. Because don't get me wrong, LC, they played pretty well. They really did what they had to do. Tipping to save their teammates, making the correct rotations all the times. But hey, hey, also looked really, really shaky here.
it just felt like there, there wasn't any coordination. It felt like the coordination was really missing from Hehe. That was the thing. It was like Nihis always running into situations where he shouldn't be in. Yeah, and like and everybody then, pretty much in the end just getting caught off position like multiple times. Yeah. Like it wasn't just him, it was all of them. Like the, it was just the overall coordination that just didn't go too well. Although they're like well, the team plan is pretty simple. Like get into mid game and then win fights when with your overwhelming team presence. I mean, of course, the draft was all good, but I mean, on paper, it looked pretty efficient, if you want to put it that way. But in the end, does yeah, it work in practice? It worked out, indeed. It's it's not what they wanted at all. That said, let's. Uh, this is the Mount Hermon Charity Tournament. We had a pre <laughs> pretty quick games today here. It's uh, already done after like one hour and fifteen minutes. So. I'll bring up the uh, the brackets real fast here to see who. Is gonna be playing up against it seems he is gonna be playing up against EED. They didn't look too strong either against Danish Bears, but uh, LC is gonna be up against Danish Bears, who looked pretty strong against EED. So I'm looking forward to that matchup. Also to see if EED and uh, Hehe are able to bring their A game against each other. With me today was uh, Morality. I'm Sander, and with that we're gonna go into a break and see you guys again somewhere next week when we have the next matches scheduled. Well then, goodbye.